This morning's Coffee With is with astronaut Terry Virts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WJZ in the morning edition in Baltimore. Terry Virts, what's going on? It's awesome to be back in Baltimore. It's love it. It's awesome to have yeah. you back. And now, as author Terry Virts. Yeah, I, my book is out. Just came out. View from above. An astronaut photographs the world. Now, I'm going to be honest with the audience, and I just told you this off air. When I heard this was coming out, I thought to myself, okay, it's another book of pictures of the Earth from the International Space Station. And then I got this copy, and it's so much more. It's, and it's not, as you said, an astronaut memoir. Mm -mm. It's, how would you describe it to the audience? So I did not want to do another memoir. There's been a lot of those written. That story's been told. And I didn't want to make a reference book, like you said, of just pictures of places. So I wanted to take the experience of space flight and put it into book format. And so I try to take what it's like, what it feels like, uh, you know, your thoughts and experiences more than some technical manual. And you did. It, well, thank it, you. It's, com <laughs> it's complete with pictures. Yeah. Your tweets. <laughs> yeah, they have tweets. Nat Geo did a great job. The photo editor was amazing. They went through all 319,000 of my pictures and and uh, I had my favorites and they, they picked out some favorites, but uh, some of the best tweets are on there. There's a little bit of description of the station. At the end of every chapter, there's just big pictures by themselves that are, um, they're beautiful. They, Nat Geo did a great job with the book, I think. And, but there is a part of Here's how I got there. Mm. We've, we've got some pictures <laughs> from the book. This was taken where? That was right here in Maryland down at uh, Freeway Airport. I, I was probably two years old or something, but I was happy to climb up on any airplane that I would be allowed to climb up on. I don't think I got to fly it. I think I just took a, you know, was posing. And the next thing you know, there's this picture, which is absolutely amazing. That's one of my favorite pictures. Taking photographs was my favorite thing to do in space so I, I just love this picture then the cupola was the module that i had the honor of installing on a shuttle flight back in the day on sts 130 and then to be able to take photos from there and actually film an imax movie um it was pretty awesome we're going to be doing a web extra with terry we're going to go 10 15 minutes and we'll, we'll be we talking about a lot of stuff uh but in the time we have left how can someone get this book I'm just telling you, for a holiday present, th this is the first, second, and third round draft choice. <laughs> well, Barnes is going to have it on what they call the octagon, like the table that you mm -hmm. get to when you first walk in on Barnes right. & Noble. Uh, you can get it online, Amazon, any online store. Uh, independent bookstores have it. Basically, wherever books are sold, they have View From Above. And we've been doing book signing tours this week and kicked it off in New York City. And... Uh, People seem to love it. I'm really excited about it to just share the experience of space flight in, in a book. It must be a real kick to you to see that people <laughs> still they they see that they see that mm -hmm. blue. They see you. They the excitement is still there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, sometimes people are like, oh, they canceled NASA or we're not doing anything in space. That nothing could be farther from the truth. You know, NASA's still going strong. We're still flying to the space station. Uh, we have a new uh, vision that's going to be coming out to hopefully go on to the moon and Mars. And people, I get to travel around the world and speak is, is one of my new jobs. And people are universally fascinated with space. They just, it's exciting. It's cool. It's part of our humans as explorers is to go out and figure out what's out there because we don't know. And somebody walking the Earth right now will walk on Mars. I hope sooner than later. Isn't it amazing, though? It's 2017, and it's almost 50 years since the moon landing, and we're still not back to the moon. So we kind of need to get that moving. You know, it's been a long time. It's time to get moving, I think. I, look, I don't think anybody out there would disagree. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, our time has run short here on the air. We're going to finish with this picture because this is just truly the best. Uh, we want you to join us online at cbsbaltimore.com. View from above, an astronaut photographs the world. Local guy done very well. Thanks, Marty. Terry Verts. And oh, by the way, you, want to, you definitely want to tune in <laughs> to the web extra because when Terry hangs up that blue outfit, he wants to be a baseball general manager and has a way to fix the Baltimore Orioles. I got my orange and black on underneath here. So, there, yeah. there you go.